multicultural film festival, okay. which yeah. is basically just we're trying to come up with that. It's a two-day okay. multicultural film festival, and it's going to be on the end tail end of, uh, of another event run by Michelle Mater, who is one of the um, head advisors at New School for public what's engagement. Public, public engagement. This is actually a marquee event because it's it's going to give, really give us the collective a lot of exposure. Her her um. Her thing is called Remix and Remastered, and she has panels and things, but it's mostly catering to um, African American cinema and Caribbean American cinema. So we wanted to do a multicultural event and sort of tag it onto that, so the people that are staying for that will want to attend ours. Because she gets a huge turnout, huge turnout. So like we right, yeah. we wanted to show like you know we wanted to give the, the students the, like a like a a chance to showcase their work, which would normally be showcased because there's really no category for it in a lot of these different film festivals. And, so. and, and how we arrived at that was like we first talked about having an African American cinema uh, festival, then a Latin American cinema, and first it was too many events. Right. And second of all, you know, like we might get two Hispanic <laughs> movies. You know, one Brazilian, but by putting them together, we'll have enough to like make it an actual film. Only, yeah, but not only that, you could be Chinese and make a Spanish yeah. film. Like you know, well, like how do you categorize yeah. it? It's, it's, yeah, it's it's that's true, true, but that's true. I mean, anyone can make a film, but, 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 but I mean, when we really look at like what we have at the school and who's making movies, like I mean, personally, I know the Brazilians will step up to the plate and bring up. Okay. Like a portrait okay. of a story. You know, brilliant. Well, I saw a great one, man. I, I wonder if he you can't finished, talk like, every culture. Two yeah, semesters kind of ago. Just wait till we, we, there's two conversations going on. So oh, let's yeah, yeah, so. let's, oh, so let's finish, finish one conversation, then we go on to another, because that way we're all paying attention. Okay. All right, so what were you guys talking about? I'm just saying, like, if you're going to do, like, a, like a multicultural event, mm -hmm. you have to target a lot of, like, cultures, you know? And that, I don't know how you're going to go about doing that. We're just going to put a call for films um, from different. It's a multicultural. If you want to talk about, it could be films about your culture. It could be you could just be a, a, a Spanish filmmaker making film. But what he's saying is like, okay, well, there's well, a category. You're showing you a documentary. Show, as far as having a panel, how are you going to like target? You know. Well, so, panels are completely different. We can make the panels. We can tailor make panels any way we want. If something, if you are interested in what it takes as a Latin filmmaker or a Hispanic filmmaker or whatever to make it in the business, then we can create a panel for Hispanic filmmakers breaking into the business. If you are coming from, if you're an international filmmaker and you want to make films in America, we can create a panel for how to international filmmakers. And, I like and that it's, one. It's what, I like that one a lot. But, what, I mean, that's not, but that's, that's more inviting. What's interesting is it's not just going to be for the people on campus. You have to remember, people will come from off campus. To see like yeah. people off the street will come in and see this. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So there'll be film international filmmakers that, that, that are like, well, shit, I need to go to a panel like this. Let me come and check what this situation is about, and you know they'll start coming to events. So let's think of also so, kind of like how do international filmmakers distribute or something or show their movie in America or something like that? Well, I think I think uh, that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, how do they? How do they? How do they come? Get their how films do they get the film seen? Yeah. What are the challenges that they face? Those are important yeah, like, things to know. Yeah. Uh, maybe how you overcome them. That way, someone watching, listening to you, can say, "Oh, I never thought of that. Let me try that." You know. Also, how many panels are we having? Like, how many different? It really depends. It really well, I mean, we can't have ten. I mean, you know. um, if we break it up between two days, sure we can. Or and you know, and they, they can be staggered. They can be between screenings and. But we could, and so, I, I was also thinking not only having film, but also uh, maybe involving, this is just an idea, throwing this out there. Um, Amanda Russo, she's at, we're having a Brazilian film festival, I mean, a multicultural <coughs> festival for them. And she's having Brazilian artists come and show works around the, around the space and, and dance. So maybe we can actually have people that are artists also have, we can display their work oh, in, like their, art. in the venue. Ooh. Yeah, on the wall. Yeah, like so that. we could have a reception where people go check out the art, and then we can start the film. Then we can then we can do uh, the panel discussion with That's maybe a great some culture idea. music playing. 
Not to mention it gives it gives you a, a space to take the people to in between yeah. screenings or in between panels to check out the art. But then it's and everybody's still in a central but then place. It's a multicultural art event then. Exactly, multi, multi, that's yeah. nice. Discipline. Yeah. 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 That way it's including a lot more people yeah, yeah, yeah. into the mix. <coughs> because you know. Because not We're everybody kind of watches movies, not everybody is into that kind of stuff. Right. So, yeah, yeah. And yeah. we can even have maybe somebody that I'm just throwing this out there, I'm just giving you an example. Somebody that knows how to play the Chinese little string instrument play. The harp. <laughs> yeah, or, or, or the, you know the one they play in the park? It's like a harp looking thing. Yeah, yeah. and then maybe the, somebody playing this, somebody from India playing this. I mean, I'm just, just kidding. Go to the music, yeah, 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 yeah. go to the music yeah, school, go, the go, the yeah. go up there, you'll find somebody. Yeah, or some, somebody Actually, playing you'll jazz. You'll find somebody. Well, that, that's a very good idea. Yeah. Having different types of musicians from different parts of the world, Playing in between the screenings and yeah. stuff while I like it. That's kind of the entertainment part. You know, well, like it's that. also it just it broadens the experience, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It allows us to include more I people, which brings us more. It's like another element. Focus on deciding the panels first, you know. So the music is like whatever we can find that's kind of more hey. That also makes it more complicated. Then. Yeah. Right? It depends like how, how far you guys want to take Come this. Come on in, sit here. Well, you're talking about like oh, simple. Hey, hey. Like I mean, it simple take, setups, it not take much to have well, not not like concert setups, but just yeah, 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 okay, okay. yeah just, really just simple like things so people aren't bored <laughs> in their judgment while they're waiting. We have, we have a jazz closet, department. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 No, that's why the one you, you should know. You should distribute Perfect. the different Perfect. drugs from different cultures. In the background, you know, like well, well, Colombian cocaine, Mexican let's focus um, so what we're talking about are, are some events that are coming up we're having a multicultural film festival slash art whatever we're still coming up with ideas for it in march it's a two-day event that we're piggybacking on the back of uh, michelle Viteri's event from um, media studies on what's remixed and remastered so it's it's going to be our like marquee event because it's really going to give us a lot of exposure for the semester. So let's let's decide to go in, to people who wants who wants to be on that committee for that for that uh, for this event. Just raise your hand. And what it entails yeah. is not only helping you know to get people for the panels, set things up, but um, also we we need people to view the films that we're going to be screening. You can count me in. Yeah. You can count me in. I'm by default. I'm I'm on every committee. Yeah. So. I'm here to listen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, that's that's yeah, understandable. Yeah. Who wants to be on this committee? Just I'd, I'd be on it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, you want to? Okay. So you got Virgo, uh, yeah. Tanya, Nancy, Nancy, Derek. So we need to get. She needs to get everybody's contact information, and then you guys will Hello? determine. Those three, three, three four, and five. Four, 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 so just so I get a right say Fergal. No. Like Frugal kind Fergal? of like Fergal. Yeah, Fergal. Uh, Fergal Sharky. No. He used to be a singer in the eighties. I think she thought his name was cool, so that's why she used to. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay, so um Cool. So get all if you wanna before we leave, just give her all your information. How long is each panel? I mean it's Well I think yeah. we need to, I think we need to we need to do that in committee and then bring that back to the next okay. meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's something you guys develop mm -hmm. in committee and I would recommend since all your times are scattered is to maybe do an online group and that you meet online because i think it'd be more convenient yeah. for everyone i agree um and then we can bring your results and your decisions back to me and then we have, it just makes it more simpler if we do that for each event I then like it'll be that. a little bit more streamlined okay. I, like um, I would like to do for every event just to put it out there just to plant a seed is that to get a host have somebody we can do auditions for a host like an MC, whatever, for mm -hmm. each event. That's going to give people a chance to all, you know, we got actors, we got performers to come out and actually not only represent us, but also some of that really is it. Because I'm a terrible, I can't Should we, should, like uh, is this no, something we're going to, is this something to advertise to see who wants to, or is it like 
for us just to shoot somebody. Quickly. No, we're gonna hold on one second. We're gonna do a, a casting call for host yeah. for for you student film collective events. It's, you know, we'll we'll build an opportunity for you to practice, whatever, hone your skills, whatever, whatever. You know. That's a good idea to um, go back to what um, was it Brandis who was saying it last last yeah. week that there needed to be more participation from members. Yeah. Like that's that's a job we could right there, like oh, you, you know, you want to be more of a part of. We need hosts. I just want to, yeah. I think if, can, can you draw up like a, would, would, can you um, just create a bill, like a something announcement of hosting for all our events and that we can list our events? Mm -hmm. That's just something that we'll post, we'll up just, those flyers we need to uh, print, you know, print up and pass out. Let's do that. Because I think the earliest we cast for those, maybe we set a casting date where we can get it like, this room is there, <laughs> I show up here on a certain date and we'll, we'll do our casting call, something for that. I just throw an idea out there. Real quick, I just want to let you guys know Innocent does storyboards. So I, I told him to come. I wanted to introduce you to him. He's also a new member. He, he signed up today. Hey. Yeah. Hey, I don't know everyone. Oh. So, wait, so I saw, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. What is your name? Tiffany. Liana. Tiffany. Are you a new school student? Or? Yes. I also work for the university in Parkland. Do you? Yeah. Where? Uh, the Office mm. of Advisors. Okay, okay. I'm surprised floor? we haven't met before because I work for admissions. Ah, but uh, yeah, most of the advisors come before. over. Did we? You met her at the, at the screening. Yeah. She won't cheat. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Good And you know. JFC. How about, how about I can't. Can. 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 You are officially right. I know you've been eating no. some special brownie. Something's going on with you. Guys, real quick. <laughs> real quick, just go around and introduce yourself. Just make it make it short and brief. And we'll start with you. With me? Yeah. Introduce yourself. Oh, so my name is Virgil. Um, I'm an international student here. and um, From? From the Netherlands, and I'm um, 25 years old. What else do you want to know? <laughs> what do you like to Wow, he sent that accent. I was trying to figure out. I'm like, the Netherlands. Nowhere in the States. What are you studying? Uh, film. 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 I have film, film. Okay. I what graduate? Are you doing, doing graduate work? I mean, uh, which uh, um, uh, <laughs> department? Um, I think public engagement is in our right. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I am Stephanie Liana. I am a student here. I film undergrad. I also work here for four years. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody. I'm Tanya Diaz-Flores and I am from Puerto Rico originally studying film and I've been a part of Collective now so from the beginning. beginning. Yeah. yeah um, started as a member and then stepped up to the office just a year ago. And I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited for this next semester. I feel like it won't be like health semester. Next semester was the health semester. Uh -huh. But, um, is that right? Yeah, hopefully this semester will be nice. No, we got some fun out there. Um, hi, I'm Nancy. I'm originally from Nigeria. Um, I'm a senior at Lang, and um, I don't know what to say. When I was five, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what are you studying? Um, oh, culture and media, uh, culture with media, okay. a focus on screen. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How did that work out for like you? Yeah, Lost part of the 1980s. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like Jonathan Castro. Uh, what was the question? Uh, Jonathan Castro. Castro. I uh, studied film uh, from Puerto Rico. <laughs> I'm out of it today. <laughs> John is also a founding member of the club. Yes, I'm a, I'm a founding okay, member. Cool. Brandis, we're going to Brandis is going to participate. In this is really cool. <laughs> I like this. Oh, do you guys maybe we can do a video thing? No, we're going to do mine too. Uh, hi, Brandis. Uh, everybody's Hello. here. Hi. I got you on speaker, oh. so you can participate. Hi, everybody. Uh, oh, so you're gonna participate through um through through this way, okay? So sure. go just real quick introduce yourself so everybody knows who you are. Maybe we can do a video. Stand thing. up, please. <laughs> so <he's laughs> go ahead and introduce Hi, yourself. Hey, my name's Miranda. I don't know who's there. Hi. Hi. I, 
you, you're going to get introduced as, as they go around. So that's Brandis. Most of you know her. This is so cool. Yeah. So Arnaldo is here. Go ahead, Arnaldo. Introduce yourself. My name is Arnaldo. I'm a Bostonian Puerto Rican from Odyssey. Um, wicked awesome. Wicked awesome. It's a ball with God. Um, I graduated from this school recently from Culture and Media, Digital Media. I'm unemployed. <laughs> I work I work at the school right now temporarily, but I'm um, looking for a job. I might get a job at Apple. Not really mm -hmm. excited about that. What? <laughs> That's know, like it's retail. It's the same thing. Yeah, like, but it's still, it's paid. such Nothing a beautiful and, company. And I'm a part. fan of brand is not being here right now. You're a jerk. <laughs> 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 like, <ten hours> <laughs> <laughs> you just won't go. You <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and listen. <laughs> oh, my bad. My name is Innocent. Um, I'm in design technology for animation. I'm originally from Nigeria myself. Oh. <laughs> you know, uh, it's my third year. And yeah, that's it. Are and you he does storyboards, guys. Yeah, I do storyboards too, and illustration and all that Animation stuff. also. <laughs> animation too. Yeah. So that I'm that's just if you have all this stuff, you know. Yeah. If you have a project in mind, especially I'm having him do my storyboards. Yeah. So, I want to know more about storyboards. Cool. So we'll talk about that on, at the end. Okay. Hi, hey, what's up? What's up, Brandon? What's going on? You asleep? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, is, this, is, this is not that. She can't probably hear me. Are you asleep, Brandis? You sound asleep. Huh? Are you asleep? No, I don't feel good. Oh. Can you hear everybody? Okay? Everyone here, okay? It's so far, yeah. Okay. Can you oh, okay. uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> So go ahead. Uh, I'm Sophie. I'm from Norway. Oh, oh hi, Sophie. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> did she did she did we did a class together like two years ago. <laughs> wow. Kind of. Um, I'm a film studies student, and I took my first production class last semester. Cool. Cool. Yeah. What? So what? You're, you're new here, but no, I transferred in uh, 2000. Oh, okay. But I'm new in production area. Okay. Okay. We've had like two classes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, so I'm Nicole, and I am the associate director of events for the Student Film Collective. I'm an independent filmmaker and a writer, and I belong to two other film collectives. <laughs> And you're the advisor. And I'm also the advisor for the group, so I have to basically approve all the events. And in, addi in addition to uh, John Friedis. Right. John Friedis is also an advisor, so he signs off on all the events as well. So. And you already know who I am. So, um... <laughs> no, so, you also have to... Uh, you know. uh, who are you? <laughs> what school are you in, Joe? I don't know anymore. What's the name of our school? Public education? <laughs> Yeah, it changes. I'm a, I'm a senior um, in public engagement. After this semester, I have eight more credits. Then I'm going to grad school here, hopefully. Not going to fake plastic. You me over, man. And John um, Frieda won't give me a letter of recommendation because he's writing one for you. Really? Yeah. Yes, I haven't got it yet. First Wait, film, do they have a limited yeah. amount of recommendations <laughs> they can write? No, he, he's writing one already. I, I don't know what He only wants writing. to write one per semester, oh. I guess. Yeah. You should have been like, should we just put, change the name? Okay. <laughs> it's the same so thing. He's the same template. To, fo to, focus, to focus back, Brandis, you can hear me? Yeah. Okay. So basically we're talking about the, um, the multicultural event in March. And we we decided that we're gonna they're gonna we're gonna have a committee. People will join the committee. Do you want to be on that that committee for that event for that event, Brandis? We have just the the date of the event is what March tenth and eleventh. It's a weekend. It piggybacks. Oh, this is the I remember. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Okay, so put Brandis down on that list. Tell her what it entails, like I don't know. Well, I think, well, you should contact, she knows what it is, but contact her. You guys get together outside of this meeting. There's Anthony. Yeah, and that's then, um, more of those. You guys get together gonna... outside of the meeting, make your decisions, and then um, come back to group. Come back to the main. Come on in, man. You got this seat right here, buddy. You guys just make some room. Oh, you're good? Okay. Let's get back in. Introduce yourself. Oh, what? 
Blue Ranger. Oh, you gotta be in front of the camera. Oh, it's a camera. Yeah. Oh, no. There's a camera? Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Here? Where's the camera? Oh, hello. You guys should scoot in. You gotta be in the camera, too. Nah, that's okay. Is this to right. capture the audio? Well, really Alright, so, um, so, we just talked about a multicultural event. We'll catch you up at the end. I'll catch you up at the end. So, listen, we all decided that uh, we're doing that event. And we're also going to do the, uh, we're definitely doing the April 30th event, which is the Collector Shorts Film Show. Now, I have another um, idea I'm going to throw out at you guys. Um, you guys ever heard of the restaurant, uh, the club called La Flamme? It's a French place on 27th Street. I... I was I got a film screen there last in May called uh, the, my, one of my documentaries. So Fernando Toscano, who is also a member, um, is also had his film screen there in, in in the summer. So we he contacted that place and they are they're giving they're allowing us to book an event there. And the only thing we have to do is get people there to, in there, and all they got to do is buy drinks. They're not going to charge us for the event. It's a very nice venue. So I was thinking about we can do something there in the, in the May. And um, I'm trying to team up with another, uh, I'm just, it's just an idea now. It's not even It's not even a set in stone, but I'm trying to get, um, if you guys ever heard of Mega Media Showcase, they did an event off campus and they had 600 people show up. So if we can do something like that there, have like a, have like a, a screening, music playing, DJ, like a party. I think people will show up and, and have a good, you know, we can all have a good time, like at the end of the, end of the semester bash, after all classes are done. Yeah, that, that yeah. Good after. I'm, I'm, I'm more along the lines of what we discussed, like Virgo uh, uh, mentioned last time, it's like we already have a lot of things on our plate. No, no, this, this no, is just, one well, person's taking it. Well, this is something we should probably discuss before we even discuss that what we brought up last week <clears throat> the fact that we have all these officers and all these members and no one wants to do anything and no one's showing up and no one's helping and so we need to figure out new officers and we need to figure out if people want to be part of this what you're planning to actually do because we don't need any more members we're not going to do anything it's just the, it's it's you're basically there's no point in you being part of the collective if you don't want to do something you know if you can help out with an event, if you could help set up stuff, if you could, you know, I, I went so many times to go get the catering and, and go to, and, and buy all the food and stuff, and I had to do all this stuff by myself. It would have been great if I had other people to help me. So, really, what do you guys want from the collective? What are you here to do, and what, what are you interested in helping with? If you're a cinematographer and you know you want to donate your time, you know, shooting someone's film, then that's cool. If you're a lighting design person, if you're an illustrator, what are you actually coming here to bring and what do you want to do? Because we do need new officers and I don't know if you're all interested in being officers, but what are you what are you here for? Why why are you part of the collective? What are you what are you coming to bring? Because we need members who are actually active. Yeah, we think you know the whole part of building us was to create community and we don't have these these events to have to get together to share experiences or to get together to build community. What's you know you know what we just become? We just come from, we, we just become the school for public engagement. Whoops, did that come out? <laughs> I mean, believe me, I wish I would have had this when I was a student here at New School. I graduated in 2008. There were no students of color that were filmmakers here, hardly any. I was always the black person in the class. No one had any use for me. No one wanted me to crew for them. No one needed my perspective. It was extremely hard getting anything done in this school in terms of film and anyone to take me seriously. So that's why I'm part of the collective because I really believe that you guys have it really good. I'm seeing people of color of all, all, all colors, all nationalities. I didn't have that at all when I was a film student here. It was not multicultural at all. Yeah, this year is like the high. Yeah. Uh, the school became the highest. Uh, and there were hardly you know, any women filmmakers. Yeah, when the year I, did I the came program. in was a great year. It I came was in real in the fall bad. of 2010, and mm -hmm. I mean, in my film class, everybody uh -huh. was 
What? I mean, just that, that we, all came just, in. we all came in. Oh, yeah, yeah. No one well, I mean, I, me as the, the, I was li- already living in New York. Yeah. They were like, so well, what are you not, trying to make? National. And you're right, I came in with a few women. Which <laughs> so, <laughs> so, guys, listen. We're going yeah. to we're gonna, we're gonna have... That's how the school used to be. Let's talk about the events that we decided on. We're going to have the meetup in, on uh, February 24th. What we're not <laughs> doing that we're doing different from last semester is we're not going to do print advertisement. That's just, I mean, we're going to do some for some events that require it. But we're not going to be like, yeah, yeah. we're not going to get like 300 posters and everybody running around their head chopped off trying to post them. And, you know, find, doing, that's, we're doing the small mm-hmm. flyers. And, small and flyers. Like we, might five do, we might do like, like the post and cards, right? Postcard yeah, or yeah, like business about. card type flyers. Or, or yeah. something I mean, things that are easy fine. to pass something out to classmates. I'm a big fan of the business card because, you know, but you have all the information there, you put in your wallet. But the key is, I mean, I, I really wanted to have this meeting a long time ago, I mean, in the beginning of the break, so we had time to do the artwork and do all this, but now school starts money, but that's, that's besides the fact. So we decided to do the meetup. The meetup is very simple. It's just our logo, meetup on this date. We have a whole month to plan that. And basically, it's really not a whole lot of plan. We have the event. We already have the location. We already have the room. All we got to do is already put the budget request in for 400 bucks. It's just buy $400 worth of... Uh, what's what's that place? Um, Dang, you know. No, no, the, the uh, food emporium. Food emporium. Oh, food emporium. And so. here you go. And I mean, people, you know, rather than <laughs> spending like eight hundred dollars on a spread, that's crazy. That's done. So I think th- that's half the stress right there. That and the poster. So if we all will agree to advertise the event via word of mouth. I mean, you don't have to be like, hey, and people will, oh my God, here comes Joey, he's a student film collector. No, but, but just let anybody know what it's about, you know, let them know what, what the student film collector is about. Use your, use your, um, use your uh, Blackboard and Facebook to let everybody know. So what I do is, and I'm sorry I do this, but this is the only way to get the information out, is I, I create the little poster for the event or the icon for the event, and I tag each and every one of you. And it gets put on your page, but then people notice it, and then they look at it, and they say, "Ah, I'm going." We, we 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 do need more people to show up to the events. We had we we splashed out so much money. We begged for money. We got it. We spent all this money on food and this, that, and the other. No one showed up to events, and you had people from OSDA, all these places, show up and say, "This is what we gave you money for yeah. for ten people to show up to your little cheesy ass." Our event. saving grace was a real five event. We had over 160 people there. That was a big event. And uh, and when I go back to USS and ask them for more money, they say, well, what happened to the other events? I, well, we learned a lesson. We learned not to do well, I mean, heavy events in the middle of the semester. But it's an opportunity for all of us as filmmakers or to showcase your work. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, where else are you going to have screening? You know, without coming out your pocket and spending all this money. You can have a screening. The school pays for it. The school pays for the food. You invite everyone you want. It's a win-win situation. Like that's what what we should be doing is promoting our members and having screenings for them and events for them, so that they can invite people and and get their name out there. Because once you graduate, no one's handing you a job. Like, oh, you a filmmaker? Cool. Here's 50 G's. They don't. What are you gonna do when you when you graduate? You gotta so, start promoting yourself now. So here's the like, idea, guys. So, oh, so the corner, real quick. The events are. Listen, January 31st, it's an OS, OSDA thing where everybody comes and checks out all the new student organizations. It's from 4.30 to 7.30. If you guys can come, there's a, a, there's a sign-up sheet on Facebook. Sign up, sign up if you can make it. I'm going to be there the whole time. I found out my classes start at 8. All the officers should be at the meetup. <laughs> when officers should, should show up the that, And they yeah. should be at all yeah. events. That's, yeah, but I can understand if you got a class or you got a, an assignment to, that's totally understandable. But I think we need, it's, it's people see us and, and they go, okay, let's show them by example. And so if only one officer is at our own event, then that, that, that's telling. That's hard. But I mean, we, yeah. we, we need have, all the officers you know, all most of us have gone to events. I think that the problem is that only us are going to the events. Yeah, well, it's like incest. Well, real know, five, like, I was the only one that went. <laughs> no, I mean, that's Wait, like, it's like incest? What? Yeah, guys, where? at real five, <laughs> where in your five, mind is real five, five, that? That's, hey guys, that's the psychological term for when the like groups it. only. Bring it know. back in. Oh. Real five event, I was the only one there other than um, Nicole. Well, it was yeah, well, I didn't go to that yeah. one. But I was the only one there. So here's the problem is then like promotion. 
No, we no, have we promoted there. the shit the, out of the promotion is, is, That one had a lot of people from outside the school also. Well, like, first of all, when, when, it came, to when it came to Real yeah. 5, we, there was five filmmakers. We all put the blast out. We told everyone's mama, granny, anyone, you work in the industry, you're a filmmaker, you're a writer, you're a makeup artist, come to this screening. Okay. Do you know how many contacts I made through that? How many people are now asking to work with me that didn't even know who I was before that screening? But the whole point is we promoted it to death. We did. Individually, <clears throat> we made that effort. Because who else is going to do that for us? Right? And this is the type of thing that I want to do for us, is that way you make a film, you have an opportunity to show it. Because what's the point of making a film if nobody's going to watch it? Well, uh, you said uh, you know the purpose is to like promote the members, right? Yeah. And like, it came to mind, like we were trying to figure out what panels. Maybe we should just have like one panel for each day, and then just after we show like 10 movies or whatever, we they sit down and people ask them questions and that kind of solves the problem of well we can we can definitely do um q and a's with the filmmakers afterwards Is this that's the different from panel? Yeah. we need to do that in committee because we're getting off topic we need to talk about okay. the fraud stuff and then break in the committee to talk about that all right just because we have a limited amount of time okay so you guys need to get in committee to talk about that stuff all right. let's, let's let's hammer out the events that we're going to do and what people and and establish the committees for each of these events for example the next event is actually the meetup. Meet Somebody needs to be the point person on that. And basically, most of the work's done. The, 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 uh, the proposal for budget's in, the space is locked, the time is locked. So all we really need to do is somebody, people to show up, set up the place, and we want we don't want it to, you know, we want to make casual. Remember our first meetup? Like that, yeah. little, little tables and chairs. Casual. We don't even have to show. We want people, we want to let people know Come to this meetup, bring your business card and, and your pitch because we want you going to meet other people. It's a networking event. That's what that event is. And that's already locked in. Our next event after that is not even our event. It's the Amanda Brazilian. Russo's event. It's the Brazilian Festival. You guys don't even need to do nothing for that. It's already been planned. You guys just come and enjoy. The event after that is, um, what is, that? is, the, is the Multicultural yeah. Film Festival. That, that event right there needs a lot of planning. In other words, we need to... We not only do a, need to do a call of submissions now, we need to come up with with uh, a little bit of logo work or something to talk about. So uh, someone needs to come up with a with a graphic design or something. It could be simple, but something that represents that event. Okay. You want to take a shot I, at? I, I can do that. Yeah. Okay. All so right. we'll take cultural. We need to get the details of that. So write down yeah. there. Can you email me all that stuff? Or yeah, he's, okay, we're, cool. we're gonna we're gonna you're gonna get all that. So you're gonna email him all that. Well, then you you're kind of part of the committee. Then. He's okay. going to be doing the fly. <laughs> okay. So innocent. Okay. It's something that we could put on Facebook, uh, MySpace. I mean, not MySpace. Yeah. Uh, you know, all oh, the man. social media. That was a Twitter. So, yeah, that was a Twitter. <laughs> that was a Twitter. I had a flashback. So, so after the Multicultural Film Festival, Okay, after the Multicultural Film Festival, is a, is a, guys, is really, if you really think about it, is um is the April 30th. Collective film, sh uh, collective shorts to film show, but there's a launch. There's a there's actually a seven day doc challenge, but it's a virtual launch. It's a virtual kickoff because we decided that that was too many events. Or we can actually have that as a meetup, virtual slash launch. So it's enough. We have a you know we can do anything. Well, we it have the space. Like a contest, right? Like everybody can submit a film, you know, and then it, it would be shown in a collective uh, shorts. Well, I like, I talked to the people and everybody liked the seven day doc challenge idea. We talked about this, right? Yeah. So, so we can either, at that event, we can either, we can do this. We can do this. People that want to do, I don't know, it's too much. I said, just do a seven, I would like to do a seven day doc challenge <laughs> in the spring and a 72 hour film challenge yeah. in the fall. Because that way it's our staple event for those. And we learned a lot, even though it wasn't as successful as I liked it to be, we learned a lot from that event. It was a good event, even though it was. Like, I mean, I would have loved for there to be like I, 300 people, but I thought for, you know, for it being me, the first, or I thought it went well. Well, for me, because I put a lot of time and effort into that, I mean, a lot of like neglecting yeah. homework and schoolwork type into it, I was disappointed. I was expecting a lot more. We, we had we Michelle Viteri show up. We yeah. had uh, the dude, what's his name? Spanish professor, Puerto Rican professor. Yeah. He was like Jose or something. Yeah. He showed up. We had. <laughs> Jeremy showed up. <coughs> Everybody was like, and and, uh, Don Don Javers from the media studies department showed oh, up. Jeremy Brook. Right? Jeremy Brook. Jeremy yeah, moderated yeah. The, the the panel at the end, and he and 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 the new school free press came and they're like, where's all the people? 
So I was, that's why I was a little disappointed, because finally we got New School Press to come out and do an article on us, but yet there was nobody here. I mean, there's people there, but not like, yeah, but if that, you guys, if you guys seen the whole situ that situation was because it came at the wrong time. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. The, the, only reason, the only reason why it didn't do as well is because that's it's right midterms, in midterms and that's mid-semester evaluations and everybody is busting their ass during that mm -hmm. time. Because so they're, they're, they're being told them. by their teacher that they got to get their shit together. Or they would have been like, yeah. a week later, it would have been packed. Yeah. Yeah. Another issue with that event is that we had two events on that night. Yeah. We had mass uh, oh, yeah. screening. No one showed up for mass screening. Yeah. And that was because he... I'm um, like, did you promote your promote screening? That. Like, where are your friends? I mean, Who's it was family? me, everybody, my my mother's mother, yeah. mother yeah. would be there. <laughs> yeah. And he was incredibly we'd pick up the call and, be there. <laughs> and freaking out, and he was really <laughs> upset. And I was because like, you well, can't just trust you, posters to do the work. No, for well, you, you know, I I really right, <clears throat> but the thing, pro but you remember this? You can't problem. expect other people to promote your event well, more than you do. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. we put the posters up, yeah, the next day there somebody was taking down. Families didn't come, like. Yeah, so, but Amazing. you know what, here's five people at Real Five, okay? And they're part of our collective, too, by the way. They're, 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 they're just real they're, five. They're student film collective members. And they're all, they're all alumni of this of this school. And that, pardon my French, that motherfucking place was packed. Mm -hmm. yeah, Literally, you had, seat. to get around, you had to go, excuse <laughs> me, <laughs> it was packed. Yeah, it really was. And we had we, yeah. Bloom performing live, the, the jazz, uh, uh, Three people trio. from jazz trio, trio. Yeah, and we had Peyton yeah, yeah. rapping to jazz. I mean, how, I mean that was like just a jazz freestyle. This freestyle. This guy was on the mic and was, was like, like people were like, hold up, is the show? <laughs> he was in the he was in the show. He was in the screening. He did um, the le he did the one and he shot it in Arizona. Oh, yeah, the, the the lemon face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he submitted. Like, yeah. yeah. So I I I will. This is what I want to do. We the reason why we we didn't we decided to do a virtual launch because we we all there was too many events. So, but we have the space. We have the space. We have, we can do a virtual. We can do a soft. We can do just. A, we have the venue. So we have everybody come and participate, and then people there that we can give them the do the, the launch for the the kickoff event. This time I'll put the name. I'll put the location on the on, on the advertisement. So that's my move. Oh, that that's another reason why. I think. <laughs> but when you're trying to make four thousand flyers and do your midterms. It, this is what I'm talking about. Joe did a lot of work last Sorry. semester on his own. I tried to help, but I couldn't possibly. And it was just too much. And we can't do that this year. And uh, there's no point. The seven day doc work. challenge. You guys got pens and paper? Because I can actually give you everything. You're a member of the group, right? Oh, uh, the voices. Facebook. Yeah. We'll add you. It's it's here. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. I was like, I'm a member of what? Sorry, he scared me with that. Officers group. <laughs> Officers group. There's a document that I put in there. It's I'm not a member of the Officers group. group. <coughs> well, we're gonna make you part of it. But you can see there. Right? Becoming an officer? Yeah. I mean, what, what I'm willing. What should we should do it? I'm willing to help with the meetup. I'm willing to help. I don't want to do a big event because I'm doing four classes and I'm working full right. time. Well, here, I'm a nut. That that <laughs> That's Tiffany. Tiffany. That's me, Tiffany Williams. I don't know if we met. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> guys, right? Uh, February tw actually January thirty first is really not an event. It's just a table at mm -hmm. an event. And I'll get there. open. Yeah. Who else? Well, uh, we I know should I'll show up. I mean, the more oh. of us there, the bigger presence we're going to have. We can actually go around and just harass people to join. Um, mm -hmm. That's from. Um, 4.30 to 7.30 in Teresa Lang, and we get used to the space because most of, some of our events are in that space. Is it January 21st? It's January 31st. It's a Saturday? 31st? 31st. 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 Oh, I thought you said 21st. I'm sorry. Is that so on the Tuesday's what? It's in Teresa Lang? It's 4th, yeah, 4.30 to 7.30. What is it? Everyone knows what Teresa it's a, it's, Lang is. It's a, a, a OSBA, OSBA spring, spring Oh, that's the winter. Yeah, that's winter, the yeah. Winter, okay. Oh, so that's winter where winter. all the student organizations will be there. Oh, oh, that's and the they, re, they, they introduce themselves to the new admins and everyone at the new school. I think we should be there. Do you know we have the most our I have to check with my members of schedule any group? Yeah, we have 200 yeah. yeah. We're the biggest student oh, by organization. The, by the way, guys, um, we have someone represented from every division. That's yeah, the first yeah. time any a new school organization has done that. That means every seven, every, each division in the new school, there's seven are represented. We have people from drama, hardest school to get to get involved. 
we have members. We need to get them engaged. So <laughs> these are our events, but I'm also. Nobody comes to huh? these. Yeah. We have yeah. managed to, yeah. What day is it? Yeah. Um, what day is it? Open January 31st. Yeah, it's, it's, OS, it's an OSCA event. And basically, it's a Tuesday. All the, the block party? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, the, that's the winter meeting. Oh, that's the same there. thing. So we have yeah, a table there as well. Okay. So we got a show. Oh, it says it's okay. winter, so they don't In the fall, they have the block party. They have a block party. They have a block party. Oh, yeah. 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 And I think they, they, they love you like, nah, you can't get a Parsons block party. Or new school block party. Not in this winter, in fall, right? In the They do it in the fall, but they're also do a Parsons one in the summer. summer. Okay. Oh, okay. So we could probably, I can negotiate a table there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> let's, so here's the key. The bigger our numbers are, the better that we're gonna get resources, the more political power we have on campus. Mm -hmm. And I th I'm trying to get us resources, funding so we could have like, we could do, decide all, collectively do a film and then have the new school fund our film or something. That'd be really cool, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, there, I have a lot of ideas for us, I, I mean, Okay, so that uh, the twenty fourth is our the February twenty fourth is actually our meetup. It's in Woman Hall, eight p.m. to eleven. So that's a Friday. I have no class that day. But. I have no class either. I don't so, think I have class Fridays either. So eight p.m. to eleven is our meetup. It's our meetup. It's a short, sweet meetup. Because yeah. remember, in the past, yeah, our meetups have not meet lasted more than two hours. I love the meetup. So, th who's we need a we need a coordinator for that event? Who wants to be I'm event coordinator? <laughs> no, the actual like your 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 event no, coordinator by default for all events, but I'm talking about like no, can't spell. someone who no, is going to be in charge that's responsible for coordinating with the committee. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad we give that to you. <laughs> so Please run with who that. wants to be on that committee? I'll be on that. Committee. The meetup committee. The meet -up. I'm I'm on it by default. Any else? Any any? No. We should look at that like a meetup. So we should look at that like a meetup. He will. He will set up. He'll do sign. I don't want to find out for everything. So. Oh, you're doing multicultural. Then it's eight to eleven. Yeah, you would. Yeah, that one's a no-brainer because everything's already set up. You just got to show up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that one's a no-brainer because everything's already set up. You just got to show up, help set up. If you're going to be there anyway, you just got to show up, help set up. But there's also, we might need things to get done. Like, we definitely need to. Someone needs to get in contact with whoever does the blast to. Do all the emails talking about our events. We need to. I do thought that. that was Suzette who yeah. was handling social media. No, we didn't decide. Yeah, we did. Well, kind she of. Said, yeah. she, she, she said she wanted she to, do to do it, do but that. I don't know that I think going to have the time. To look, do that, oh, sorry. look, I, I think social <laughs> media should be all our responsibilities because we're all on it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. but well, we have so we have one, one of the person, people from I mean, engaged. I think the event the, sending out. You're the you're the overall event coordinator, so you oversee all the events. Yeah. But you're the main point on the multicultural. She's the main point, but she she reports to you about that she needs something. She goes to you, and then you reach out. Okay. All right. All right. So that's how it will go. But I'm I'm talking about like for example, for every event there should be a Facebook event made, and that's the responsibility of the event coordinator. And you have to do it within the student film collective group slash page, so that way people will know. Uh, we're going to do event right thing. I'll talk to you guys about that. So. Anthony, you know I'm on there. You got, I'm, I'll be there. So we just need people who maybe to photograph. Anybody want to take pictures? I take pictures. We could take two people could take pictures. You could do video. You could take pictures. Okay. Yeah. So Tanya and Nancy are That's on there. That's another thing. Posting content. We need someone to update yeah. the website. We have so much content Facebook. from we previous so events, much and, and we do. We we're not posting. Well, it's not posted. Well, I remember we were supposed to get together so I could show you how to do that, but we had a miscommunication. But, uh, well, now I'll sit, yeah, yeah. sit down and do the website. So what we need to do is who wants to, you know, post content to the website? The more content we have. Website, Facebook, Twitter. We all can do Facebook. Yeah, I mean, we can all. We all can do that kind of stuff. No, yeah. one person no, needs to be like, in charge of one person every time like we have blasting. an event. Okay. What do you like, say? One person who, whose job is like, here's the footage, post it. You know what I mean? Okay, and okay, and, okay. and well, one person who's just. Suzette said she could do it, but. I think we should have multiple people. No, I think we should have one person. One, one person. person. Everybody can do it, but one person in charge means that person, you know. Hold on, say that again. I saw that you won't be agreed on last week that it would be just one person. Yeah. Okay. So that there could be consistency, et cetera. I don't know. Well, I think one person should be ultimately be the you know driving force of that. Hey, we need this, we need that, we need this. But, uh, but I think, I think it should be one person. But I'm talking about like now, okay, social media. Somebody put it on Twitter. Well, I somebody think what put you mean is like everybody's responsible for 
getting the word out in advertising. And I agree, everybody needs to pass a flyer, everybody needs to post on their Facebook, everybody needs to say something. But I think what we mean by the one person is that there should be one person who's like, here's all the footage, here's all the pictures, here's the design, blast it. And that person okay. is responsible and for actually. Here's my, here's my issue. I don't think Suzette has the time to devote to doing that. She works in the film office. She works Ooh. in the film office. She makes, she does film, she works on film sets every weekend. She works crazy hours and she's taking classes. I don't see that she's going to be able to I do that. I think what, what we talked about, she was going to be in charge of like specific uh, part of, you know, like the no. social media. Social media But and all that, not, yeah. you know, as a whole because, yeah, because of her time constraint, you know. I mean, just I to be realistic. Because it's what one I thing posting on Facebook, what I, you know, there's there's an event and, and, you know, you write the, like, the blurb, you know, and then all basically, to everyone basically, else to blast it. Basically it's, it's another thing, coordinating to get all the content to put it, that's a whole Yeah, that's, that's yeah, a whole other problem. I think what I mean by Facebook is, is creating an event on Facebook and then adding all of us to the group, you know, to the event, inviting all of us. And then once we get that invitation, we invite all our friends. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to invite, you know, invite your grandmother from um, Mississippi or, you know, what I'm saying is like, you know, we all, like I have two profiles. I have a personal one and I have a, a new school one. So, I mean, I'm gonna invite everyone I know. I do that now and a lot of people don't like that, but still it's getting the word out. So it's up to you how you get the word out, but that one person should create the Facebook event and may possibly create the uh, event on our website so people can go and see the list of events that we're doing or something. So that's what I'm talking about social media. I think we can all tweet and whatever. Uh, I mean, yeah. But yeah, but that, that we're talking about so content, so like the stuff that we did um, for like the 72 hour film challenge, right. where's that now? You know, where's the shorts? That's what we're talking about. We're talking about who's going to take the responsibility, grab that content that we showed at the multicultural event, and put that on the website. Who's going to grab, well, see, you know, things? Well, from, originally, be, before the beginning of that event, we should you should have had a packet of all these forms that we had to fill. That's out the window. We're not I'll doing still that. Have you still have that at home. <laughs> Just disregard it totally because it's too much. It's too, we're trying to simplify that. But we didn't have permission from you to put it up there. No, no, no. I'm just saying for in general. I'm not talking about that event. I'm so talking about in like general. All the behind the, in the like future, after, after we do an event and we got the product and we got whatever release forms that we need to get, who the hell is going to take that footage <laughs> and okay. put it yeah, on a website? Oh, so how do you say SFC did that? Like, that's what I'm saying. Joe, I can tell you tomorrow if I get this job or not. If I get the job, I can do it because I don't know. Okay. We need to know right now, though. Um, well, well, here's here's the thing. Well, but, um, but, I think, but it would interest this good to know. Guys, I think uh, um, that's no. I'm interested in yeah. doing it. Like it's something valuable to me. So, so like I can build my resume and I can help you guys out. I love. You know, well, I I think the you event coordinator editor. should be is, like is responsible for the. For example, <laughs> I'm really? gonna be a, if I'm an event coordinator for Seven Day <laughs> Doc, I'm responsible for making sure that I have somebody designated to help me because it's a lot of work to, to get to adjust the, the thing and create something. So, um, so you say each event coordinator should be responsible for uploading? Not uploading, but designating someone to upload because it's, it's going to take more than one person to do. Yeah. And maybe it's if the photographer is taking photos. Uh, make sure that they may be. I'm just worried that then every time you're going to waste so much time trying to decide who's going to do what, you know, and you know, it's, it's either, it's either, so either yeah. on that part. Part. you know, it's so either that or not have it up there yeah. because, you know, that's the problem now. We have all that back footage, we have all that back footage, and the reason why it hasn't been put up there is because it's a lot of work for one person to do. I'm just trying not to give one person too much stuff where they're just saying, oh, I can't do it, I gotta do my homework. So then let the so event coordinator, why not yeah. let the event if coordinator for each? Have final cut in the lab, I can do it in my like, break. Well, okay. let, the, let the event coordinator for each event be responsible for putting up content for that event. That's your, your event okay. that you're coordinating. And if you need help, that's what the other members are for. You tell you tell whoever needs, you know, like I need you to do final cut, I need you to do this, I need you to do so that. Okay, it, cool. You know? Yeah. Um, as far as the, uh, <laughs> like the film <laughs> from the screen, <laughs> how about the, how it happened the first time where we, we put it on online. online? The only thing is, I I'm not the one who did the, I Matt Kotowski actually.
got all the films and played it off his laptop. Oh. I don't have the films you guys gave him. Oh. We, I think we I don't have them. <laughs> and I think for I think for in the future when we do something like that, I think we're gonna have people upload to the collab. Well, I have. What we have, have, have right. We have, I have you. ours. You probably have he, yours. He's the one who loaded on his laptop the show. Why were we using his laptop? <clears throat> Yeah, we should have asked request. for a laptop before we know. Yeah. yeah, we put it in the I don't I don't know. But it's okay. anyway, it's 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 in the past. I think in the future when we do something like that, we should have people upload it to a video sharing site so all they gotta do is give us a link. Yeah. Right. Yep. We could have a Vimeo, Vimeo. page or something. Yeah. We do have and a Vimeo page. To, you know. Yeah. I, I think YouTube that's though. better than Well, if it's Vimeo it's um it's cause some people might have plus sure. accounts, they can upload it, you know, they can upload it better, but YouTube, whatever. I don't like yeah. YouTube because it shows advertising on the Yeah. yeah. yeah no. So if we make that, that, so that way it's they have it, it's not, so no one has it hidden away on their laptop anywhere or whatever, it's stuck in a yeah. mysterious folder. It's more accessible. And people submit us links. I think if we make that simple and if, like you know. That. Yeah. It's quicker. Yeah, because the first time that worked really well. But I think we should make, uh, event coordinators should be responsible for making sure that <laughs> equipment, that, that footage well, is uploaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Like and it's reaching out to people to help you do that. So that means collecting the footage at the end. And finding out who are your editors. And who so. you're, I'll definitely be one of them. You count on me. Um, I can edit a little bit. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so, guys. We only, I mean, like a two, three minute, you know, highlights is enough for an event. Yeah, because you don't need, you don't need. To put the two hours like worth hour of content. Worth. Look at this footage. You just need a five minute, like a promo thing. This is what happened. That this is what you missed. Just, yeah. just so we can show the power to be that fund us. Also, hey, we did something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it could be. It, you don't have to like. For example, I went crazy on one event and I filmed the whole thing. That's crazy. I mean, I like to have a document of the event, whatever, for my, you know. But uh, if it's like someone performing, film it. If it's somebody presenting a panel, film it. Uh, you know, you don't have to film people drinking, you know, mm. alcohol or sipping tea, whatever. You don't have to do that. Like, I went crazy. Mm. So, <laughs> all right. So that's settled. Let's so let's recap. January thirty first, February twenty fourth is the meetup. You, you're the coordinator. So, do you have all your committee members? For that, you have me, Anthony, and Does Nicole. Anybody Bidenfall. else want to help with the meetup? What's the meetup? It's on the Sophie will help. Sophie, you want to help? Sophie will help. Put Sophie, Sophia down. Yeah. Uh -huh. What? I said I'll be there to sign people in. Okay. You and you and Anthony are going to do this. Keep signing people because we're going to have a lot of people there. Right. So it's Brandis. Put Brandis on your list. So so what's going to? Anthony, yeah, he's right here. He uh, he. Uh, He's gonna help. Well, you guys, you got way. You guys can do other. Cause I have some other things. I think an idea for maybe do make sure the sound's correct yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah you do sound. So, another idea you might want to put on your seat is getting someone to maybe perform, like a jazz group or something from the new school. But that Ooh, is like the they, they want to perform at every mm -hmm. event we have. They so like, everything. Maybe we can. Yeah. So put that down there. Yeah. So the twenty. Yeah. The twenty seventh, I guys do believe it's not. I mean, it's already been planned, but it's another event that we have our name on that nobody really has to pitch because pitch it's already when, done. When is the October? Brazilian festival? The March seventh. I think so, this, the Brazilian festival is. And always show up to these events with your business cards and your information. You might find a Brazilian performer that would compose for your. February twenty seventh at what? six. You never. Oh, know. February twenty seventh. It's February. I got a question uh, though. Um, mm -hmm. You didn't get business cards from the new school website itself, right? Yeah. Where do you find out again? You have to do my, go to my school. Yeah. But what they part? give you business cards? No, you pay for them. It just says oh, new yeah. school student, whatever. Oh, okay. oh okay. I thought it was free. I didn't know that. It's not free. Yeah. Mm. Only thing free uh, is Vista uh, Print. Vista Print always Vista has like a free offer, you know. I, I mean, it has their advertisement huh? in the back, I think, right? Yeah, 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 yeah like do it. How long is the festival event? Guys, listen up. February 27th at 6 p.m. is the New School Brazilian uh, Cultural Music, Dance, Art, Film Festival. So basically, here I'm going to put the word out. We need Brazilian filmmakers for that. We have one. We have Fernando Toscano. He's going to show? Yeah. Because at first it was kind of. Yeah, he's going to show. We have her, him. We have Livia. Yeah. Ask, I don't know she's with Asher. Yeah, okay, reach out uh, to her. Livia. And what's that? Uh, there was another did you, girl. Uh, did you guys ever touch base with Kiko? I did. He he's, he's not comfortable. 
female Kinga? Are you comfortable? Are you people? Well, we, we had a class <laughs> one semester. Yeah, it was cool. I mean, he's not like my BFF or anything, you know. Oh, wow. <laughs> we don't hang, but reach out to him. But uh, but he had a great short in that class that I was in with him. Like his final project, that that short was really yeah. great. And then yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. He did it. Uh, I'm broken. Did after speaking Portuguese <laughs> and and subtitles, it was great. We also want to have something we can show while the band's playing, something to project on the wall, something that can be like it's it's this visual. Like, uh, like Brazilian related, you mean? No, but it could be a Brazilian. Listen again, it. it I think for, we get for really stuff like specific, that, you, you get, get like an old Brazilian movie, you know. Yeah. You know what's like, really uh, good that I just saw on Netflix? It's amazing. Um, it's called No Fados. Fados. Um, oh, it's like oh. a Brazilian style music that like originated from Portuguese, uh, Portu Portugal, and um, yeah, and it's really visually like. The only thing about showing um, films, other people's films, yeah. is that you have to have permission. Oh. So if we could, sh if we, if we mm -hmm. really want to promote Brazilian That's filmmakers so at the uh, New School. What was that, uh, like, limited, well, not limited, it's like too, uh, yeah, 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 depressing, oh, but that was some, <laughs> li limited, I mean, that, no. That one was horrible. No, we, we were in a Latin American cinema class, and we, we had a whole, a whole section of that with Brazilian cinema. And uh, there's like Because if you really get something Brazilian really film. old, you don't have to worry about rights. And you don't have to worry about audio because nobody's really gonna, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about um, what's that famous Brazilian film that is just uh, black, black and white? Yeah, black and white. Black and white. Beautiful film. Well, someone look up, find that out, and see what the copyright is. Something we can just play in the background. But I think really? Have projector. Wow. Yeah, I don't see that there would be a problem. We're not, we're not, we're not charging. Yeah, yeah. We're not showing. You can just show. Yeah. Don't have a hand of hand. I will. I will. Ask for show material about that because she's she's very well versed in in film festivals and showing films. So I'll ask her about what the protocol is. She's very well versed in film festivals and showing films. So I'll ask her what the protocol is for showing that. Okay. Yeah, we can show enough in Pereira de Santos though. As long as it's out of copyright. Yeah, something like that's what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah. Good. And we're not going to have, have any have problem with copyright it's showing something and like that. And it'll look really nice. <laughs> yeah. That will be a really okay. Yeah, yeah. If that looks so nice in the background. Okay, so, so after that, guys, is the Multicultural Film Festival, and we have a committee for that. Okay, and those dates were the 10th to the 11th of March, right? Yep, and oh, um, Saturday from 12 to 8 p.m., and then on Sundays, 12 to 10 p.m. That's what you said, 12 to 10? 12 to 10 on Sunday, 12 to 8. We're not, doesn't mean we have to be there and for 12 10. to 8 Saturday. Yeah, because they close early on Saturday. So doesn't mean we have to be there the whole time. It's just that's our range to be in that space. That's right. So um, again, to touch on that, and we'll discuss that in committee. I mean, I would like to see artists and some type of uh, music component there. And we need to reach out to the news, to, to the jazz demands, to all uh, to drama, Parsons. OK, so. Basically, guys, this is the dates we have. But um, for other events, we have a uh, we have the we have Teresa Lang on April 9th. It's a Monday from five to ten. Originally, it was seven uh, scheduled for the seven day doc challenge kickoff. We figure we don't we need five hours to do a kickoff, so maybe we can repackage that to another event. I talked to um, the owner of this place called Professional Sound Services. The guy does. Um, a workshop so we can do a workshop on indie film sound film you know filmmaking you, you know how to do sound he teaches everything from the, you know A to Z it's 350 and we can get up to 30 people into a session and he brings all the equipment and would anybody be interested in doing a workshop on sound yes yeah, yeah very much so cool. yeah so he's going to talk about the, in, the pitfalls so for something like that then you'd have to charge no we can no. ask for money for it's 350 wow. but we'll charge for non non new school members I well, they do. They do like that. Like when we talk to the USDA, they they love like stuff that has an educational uh, orientation. Yeah. So you know. what we can do is um, we can make we can do some too. We can make that the kickoff and also the the, the workshop. I mean, because we don't want to have that date. I think People you should stick the kickoff being virtual. I think that okay. your idea of that was a really good yeah. one. And we should stick to that. All right, because we have the space for five hours. I think that would be great for a sound. Okay, so the yeah, next the next date, which is uh, we're not using, is 416, Monday, 8 to 11 in Wilma Hall. And I was going to use that as a screening of the 7-Day Doc Challenge. And we decided last meeting that we're going to 
combined, we're going to use that. We're just going to use the end of the semester Black Shorts film show as the ultimate screening for all the films. Okay. So for t April 27, which is a Friday, we're not doing this for the semester because we're keeping it the 72 hour short film challenge in the, the fall only. It was originally scheduled before. We have the space Friday, 5 to 10. Teresa Lang for the 72 hour film challenge too. We're not doing that, but we have the space. What so, is it? Wait, April what? 27. 27. What's on the 27th? That's the, going to be the doc challenge? No, it, so the, the, the space, 27th was the space we have. Yeah. We're actually going to launch the, the challenge virtually on the 9th um, of April. And, uh, but all or the, the documentary, but yeah. the screening is the 27th. And the screening is the 30th. No. Okay, yeah. April 30th. 27th is the kickoff, right? 27th, we're not doing anything. It's just space we have. Just space open. Yeah. And the third, okay, the ninth, okay, so so the, technically the 9th of April is the kickoff of the documentary challenge. Virtually. Virtually, but it's the official. And we have to, you know, matter of fact, we will need people to help on that because we need to find out where we can have people drop off film and how they're going to do it. If we want them to upload to Vimeo, yeah, yeah I think have them uploaded electronically. Yeah. And it's a short, yeah. it's a short, like so you know. But they have, they have to drop off something. <laughs> we want to, we got to see who's yeah, interested. Don't. Why do they have to drop off something? Because it, because it, put it this way, we have to. If we don't, if we're doing the kickoff virtually and we're just having people submit their film filter, we really don't have, we don't know who's submitting. We have to have some kind of commitment, some way they can show us their commitment. Yeah, you have to submit that, but you don't have, I mean, you have the form, have you up, like download it, you fill it out, and you email it back, you know? All right. So I, we also have to pick a theme. So I was thinking we could pick, we have to pick a theme for the seven-day doc challenge. So anybody have any ideas? I think I something mean, I think it should be. The the well, no, but, no. but because it's a challenge, yeah, it has to be something that you don't know specific. ahead of time. So I think oh. it should be somewhere along, you know, public engagement or echo, you know, I, I something at the echo school. Yeah. The world is this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be interesting to. Well, I don't know. Um, I mean, because the world is supposed to end according to the Mayan calendar, if yeah. people uh, believe in that. So that'd well, be interesting so to yeah. sort of make <laughs> films. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why people about say the world is going to end. The Mayan funny. calendar ends. It's a shift. Right? It's a shift <laughs> in consciousness. Yeah. Go crazy, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> well, yeah. 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 Do you remember Y two K? I loved Y two K. I loved Y two K. I enjoyed every second of people freaking out. Oh, people freaked out. My mother bought so much water, and I kept trying to keep her from buying water and canned food. Holy oh, um, cow! Uh, we had to donate canned food. She bought so much. I think we food. should leave the documentary wow. open. Yeah. I think we don't need that stuff, Ma. <laughs> but then it's not a challenge. We get to in there. It's a challenge. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's kind of like the one no, that where we got, we got, you had to incorporate a lemon and a phrase. It's kind of like that idea okay. where you don't know until the kickoff event. And I want to stare away from Occupy Wall Street because everybody and their mother has done a video on Occupy Wall Street. Everybody's got videos of Occupy Wall Street. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, 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 it's the school of public engagement, you know, so it should be somewhere along those lines or, you know, environmental something like that. I think know. that, but, you know, that's, like. That's what the school is. How about like something the trend right now? But that's, I mean. Oh. That's, <laughs> that's everything, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, listen, we'll, we'll, we're going to do a committee on that. Who wants yeah. to be on the committee for that? I'll be on there. I'll be That's just coming up with ideas right at this point. Wait, for but which one is for the seven day for the seven day doc challenge? I'm about to. And, 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 and the and the and the watching the films. They, yeah. Well, I can't watch the films. There's also a price <laughs> <laughs> We have to make sure that. No, if you want, if you're watching the films, you can't be a participant, though, can you? Okay, okay. I'll be a critic. No, well, then you're you're excluded from the film. Virtual, are you? Okay. But you can. No, you're watching the film. But we make sure they can know if we're able to participate. You're right. No, I don't think you should be able to participate if you are going to be on the committee. That's an unfair advantage. No, because but they're you're gonna, because you're going to know ahead of time what all the yeah, but they're not are. judging. Yeah. No, no, but still, matter. you have the upper hand. You have the upper hand. Who, right? wants to, who, wants to shoot, who wants to participate in the seven-day doc challenge by shooting? Well, 
Well, I know I, I don't have time. Go to <laughs> New York. Oh, I'm home. Uh, I'm well, then you won't, right? be, you won't be part of the screening of them. You will just be home? part of the uh, um, the organization. Yeah, I can't know anything about it. So your 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 job would be to make sure that the participants know the rules. I mean, I can have one that unfair advantage, though. Guys, listen, 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 guys, listen, listen. We need we need to we need to get judges for this event. Actually, any event, any screening that, especially the last event, we need judges. Well, so, I'm coordinator for the event. I will work on the judges. Okay, so so basically is that if you're going to participate, you won't be part of the screening. Basically, in the screening, initial screening when we get it, we just kind of make sure that the films are in compliance. So what you guys can do is make sure that the participants know what the rules are and they comply. So one of the rules, I basically offer another challenge. What they did was at the end, they had one of the subjects show uh, show a, a, a newspaper with that, that was dated and that was- Like a ransom. It's at the end, it's not part of the main picture, but it's, it's showing the subject that's made, that's the main subject with the newspaper of the date. So that, that lets us know that it was shot during that week. I mean, really they can cheat that, right? But um, I think that's simple. <laughs> Composite, yeah. Who's gonna really cheat that though? But there's people, there's people. Not companies. if we go, not if we go, we want the New York Times <laughs> the state. Yeah. Or we want the New School Free Press. We want Bin Laden holding that Yeah, but that paper. doesn't come out when you want it to come out. <laughs> well, well, we'll have that's to why the Times is more we have, yeah, 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 let's, we have That's to, why the whole well, thing would incorporate a phrase or something. Committee. So who wants to be on that committee and organizing it and let people know what the rules so are? So far, I have. Still seven I'll John, still be, because I don't think I'm. Uh, oh, I want to be. You want to be on that one, Sophie? Looking at the at the dates of that, I don't. I mean, I need some art. I want to participate. And you, yeah, you'll be on that. Yeah, I can do. I can do the art. What does that consist of exactly? What do you? It's just a logo. Anything that has to do with art, it should be. Okay, innocent. You heard it here first. I'm just saying. He said he to do artwork. Can you speak clearly to the camera? Any design, any storyboard, you know what I'm saying? Anything like that goes through me. Goes through me. You guys, you guys heard that?